All right, I had several people ask me how the powder coating has been going. So I figured I'd make this little video. Uh, I have been doing a little bit of the powder coating. Uh, I want to introduce a little round to y'all. This is called the Mouse Fart. It is a 3030 Winchester. And uh, I usually don't tell you my low data, but uh, you can go on there. There's a, uh, a website called lever guns and they have a whole lot of downloaded data you won't find any of this in most reload manuals <laughs> but it's a website that's got thousands and thousands and thousands of rounds went through testing reducing um, some um, uh, high powered rifle cartridges reducing them down to like a gallery load and I want to introduce this to y'all. This is what I call the mouse fart. This one being the chocolate design. This uh, powder coated um, 3030. Basically it's a 309 bullet. I put three coats of powder coat, tumble coated them. Just because I didn't want to invest in the uh, powder coat gun until I found out if I liked them or not. And I have found out that I do like them. So... I think the next thing I'm going to do is build me a jig where I can actually paint these and get a little bit better finish on them. Because if you see, like some of these right here, where I tumbled them, they kind of look cruddy. But we can fix the uh, finish later. We just wanted to see the uh, performance. And these are just basically a uh, just a regular lead bullet. And, uh, what I'm using in these is uh, it's a hundred and right here, 165 grain round nose flat point. I just took the uh, Missouri Bullet Company and I made the ones I call the vanilla, the vanilla mouse farts. They're just a regular lead bullet, and did them. These have the uh, uh, Grease lube in the, the lube in the uh, grease ring on lube ring, whatever you want to call it, below the driving bands to pre to uh, prevent the gases from passing by. And these do not. I just took these. If you can see them real good, I got a little bit of a gritty texture to them. But uh, I have loaded these up, and believe it or not, this is like shooting a 30-30. They're running about a thousand and thirty when I chronographed them thousand and thirty feet per second and uh they shoot really good i mean they're really really accurate in fact i'll go grab a target and show you just how accurate they are all right here's my little target for reference this is a one inch bullseye and this was at i don't know 25 30 yards just playing around uh, we did get a uh, average of uh 1032 feet per second and here's the little group this one here and then these two was actually the group and then these were just ones that I before I changed the target was letting the kids shoot them but basically these shoot with about the recoil of a 22 rifle and the kids love them most people call these gallery loads they're just for planking but uh, another good thing is if you was in a situation where you only had one rifle and the good thing about reloading is you could tailor loads. You could have regular full power factory loads for, you know, like large game, uh, deer, st stuff like that. And then you could also take these mouse loads, what I call mouse farts, and you could use them for smaller critters uh, like, um, you know, squirrels, foxes, rab uh, rabbits, and such. And gives you a little bit of whole another avenue to use your uh, lever guns for so never uh, never underestimate the uh, effectiveness of a lever gun and uh, multiple loadings for it like I said you have you have your vanilla what I call the vanilla just a plain lead one and the chocolate mouse farts really 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 fun to shoot you want to go out and uh, teach a kid how to shoot a higher powered rifle you can uh, download uh, high powered rounds to gallery load specs but what I use is a 
really fast burning pistol powder and I caution you do not do this unless you have some published data and like I said if you go to lever guns and I'll try and put the little link down here that uh, shows you some of their test data I'm using a really 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 fast pistol powder I'm using about five grains of this and like I said through the chronograph it's giving me a thousand and thirty two I did have one that ran through it was like 998 but you know roughly a thousand to a thousand thirty two feet per second so it's not a whole lot of velocity it's about half of a factory load I think the factory loads usually run about 23 2370 it's just a really fun economical um, bullet for the kids to shoot and like I said just for practicing and uh, little small critters if you need be so y'all tell me what you think of the the mouse farts I thought they were cool they were definitely fun look a little evil don't they black like I said they come out a little grainy if you look at these <laughs> these I did actually size but if you see the only part that it slicks up is the uh, actually the part that uh, is actually the driving bands of the bullet this part actually doesn't get resized because if you look it kind of changes down on the ogive but anyways I do believe that uh, since I like this method I'm gonna start powder coating with a powder coat gun so I do have some uh, ladder loads I have here for accuracy we're gonna check them out and these were with different grains of powder different I got you know about five rounds in each different um, different grains like this one is 17 grains 4198 and these should be 18 19 and 20 and I'm just gonna see I gotta gotta tune in and see which one which grain bullet which grain powder charge my rifle likes and then we'll sit down and um, load up some of them for accuracy but like I said these will be fun for planking no recoil it's about like a 22 I'd say less recoil than a 223 so be really good training tool for the uh, younger kids and stuff or recoil sensitive shooters um, to get them used to shooting high powered rifles to keep from having that flinch when they don't have to and it's a pleasure to shoot when you're not getting the snot kicked out of you so I thought I would show y'all my little mouse farts and y'all tell me what you think of them <laughs> 